There is no environmental negatives to, to shellfish farming. It's actually a positive. I'm Ramey Murray, and I'm the MD of Dibba Bay Oysters. And so we're, we're the nation's only oyster farm. Uh, we're based across in Dibba in northern Fujera, and we're producing uh, Pacific Cupped Oysters uh, for the, the, the gourmet uh, hospitality industry. The oysters are spread out over a large area. Um, they're, they're just f simply filtering algae out of the water. Um, and then the nets that we, we, we have them in, they form sort of temporary floating reefs, um, which is very helpful for the surrounding wildlife. So um, the, the seaweed and, and stuff that grows on the outside of the lanterns uh, provides food for baby fish. And so we actually have this explosion of, of baby fish and life around our farm. We, we start with uh, baby oysters, uh, which so we, we buy from international uh, hatcheries. We bring them in at an extremely small size and then they go into our nursery. We keep them there for a few weeks and then we send them offshore. So our farm is completely offshore. Um, the oysters uh, hang in baskets in the, in the open ocean and uh, oysters are filter feeders. So they're, they're, they're feeding naturally on the phytoplankton and microalgae in the water. Um, we get a very fast growth rate out here because of the temperature but also because of the huge amounts of food that's in the water. So we get a very beautiful, fat, uh, meaty oyster in a, in a pretty short period of time. We bring, we bring the, the lanterns in from the ocean for processing. So this is where we empty them out of their bags and we grade them by size and then repack them. So let me show you what's going on. So, so these, these are the lanterns that have been brought in this morning. Uh, so these, these are full on every level uh, with, with oysters. The first thing we do is we've got to empty them out. So the boys are going to empty it here. So, Go for it. Okay. Very nice. And then the next stage is we've got to sweep them into the basket and move them into the production line. So, yeah. All right, that'll do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So here, we're giving them a quick wash and then a quick tumble. The tumble is to just chip the ends and manicure the nail, which will give us a nice cup shape. So these are going up. And then they drop into here. Then they get rotated round and then onto the inspection belt. It's really important that you grade oysters because they're little vacuums and they're sucking food out of the water. Um, if you have a big oyster with a lot of small oysters, the big one grows exponentially and the small ones don't grow. So we have to keep them all separated by size. So here's the bigger ones, and then you can see these ones are slightly smaller, and then slightly smaller over there. So once they've been cleaned and graded, they then need to be repacked and sent straight back to the farm. So this is what's happening here. So you can see that these lovely, clean, uniform oysters, they've all been repacked. This is ready to go. The divers will take them back out and, and rehang them.